Hey dudes, what is going on and welcome to another video. Today I have for you editors out there a little bit of a fix that's going to be for quality of life. It's going to be regarding the sync issue that NVIDIA's capture software has. It's going to be regarding NVIDIA's capture software desync issue. Now, before I get into the video, it's not a perfect fix, but it does help tremendously. Now, if you want to jump straight to the fix, it'll be timestamped below because I know some of you are impatient as but for those of you that want to hear what the problem actually is, in case you're not sure if you're having the exact same problem, stick around. And basically what the problem is, is when you record something with NVIDIA's capture software, is the audio is often way out of sync. It's okay for short clip, but if you're doing like a let's play, for example, and you're recording for a long period of time, it starts to get way out of sync. And what do I mean exactly? Well, take a look at this. This will be the footage dropped into Sony Vegas, because that's what I edit with. So if this doesn't help you with Premiere Pro, sorry, but I use Vegas and it works for me. This is oftentimes what the video will look like. This is a demonstration of me playing the raw footage dragged straight into Sony Vegas and you can see just how out of sync it really is. And when I say it's out of sync, I don't mean it's out by a couple of seconds. Sometimes it's out by up to 10, 20 seconds. He's up against left wall now. Yeah. Oh. I think he might be slow walking out. Which is obviously not ideal. And you think, okay, that's no big issue. What about if I just move the track 10 seconds forward? Well, it's not quite that simple because sometimes it might be out by 15 seconds here, 10 seconds there, five seconds here. It's just all over the place. And the reason for that is because NVIDIA in all their infinite wisdom decided to make their capture software variable frame rate. I'm not sure why, but in my experience, it creates more problems than it solves. So just moving the track forward might fix it for the part you're currently viewing, but it'll throw it way out of sync for somewhere else. However, the fix that I'm going to show you, while I said it is not perfect, but it will make your life better. I dug around on the internet and tried to find answers for this problem and I could not find a video that fixes it this way. Everyone keeps saying handbrake your videos but if you're a person that does let's plays you don't want to be going through 30 40 hours of footage and handbraking it all. Not to mention when you're compressing it you're going to lose actual file quality which means that your footage is going to look worse. Unless you do it on placebo then you might get away with it but be prepared to be rendering for the rest of your life and when I want to edit a video I just want to edit the video. I don't want to have to go and sit for like three hours rendering something out. Some people don't have the best PC in the world. So this is what I do to fix it. Bear in mind, as I said, it's not perfect, but it will get the audio much, much closer. Sometimes it is actually perfect. But the reason I'm saying that it's not is because sometimes there is a little bit of delay as will be displayed on the screen here, but it'll be a lot closer than it was. You won't have to go dig in 20 seconds left or right on your slider to try and find it. Basically, all you do is you go into wherever you've got your video saved, go down to it, change the whole name, make sure you highlight the MP4 as well, just wipe it clean. You can probably change it to whatever you want, but for the sake of it, change it to what I'm changing it to here, so we already know that works. Hence why I decided to display it. It'll give you a little prompt saying that the video may become unplayable or whatever, that's fine because it still works in Vegas. If it doesn't work for Premiere, I'm sorry, but I don't have experience with Premiere, but for Vegas, it's totally fine. Once you've renamed it, the icon should turn white, and then we drag it back into Vegas, and it's a lot closer than it was. I think you might be- He's down at the escalator. What side? Left. He's up against left wall now. Yeah. That one's dead. As I said, not perfect, but a lot better than it was. It's going to make your life a lot easier. The alternative is, of course, you can go and handbrake your files, which if you're probably doing just one video, maybe that's not so bad. But for those of you that go through a lot of footage, I would go this way. Hope this video helps you out and makes your life a little bit easier because I know it did my head in for at least a solid week and a half. Now, I guess all I have to say is good luck and happy editing.